Hello, good evening to everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Good evening, Mr. Rivera. Welcome. Ms. Duran, welcome too. Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Good evening. Hi. Okay. Uh, so, uh, welcome to the last video conference that got us for for uh, this model. Um, you know, this is the end of of this course that uh, in this case is pre-intermediate model one. Um, well, as you know, and this is just some information that uh, the staff told me that I need to reply to you. Um, it is that you have um, a specific time in order to complete the, the platform. So, um, I think that they are going to give uh, us a deadline tomorrow. Yes, I guess Friday 11, in order to complete all the exercises of the platform. So in that way, you are going to be able to um, ask for your certification. Okay. Uh, and remember that in order to get that diploma, you, you need to complete at least the 80%. If you can complete the 100%, that would be great. But if you uh, cannot complete all those exercises, uh, but try at least to complete the 80%. Welcome, Mr. Rodriguez. Okay. I don't know if you listen what I was sharing to Ms. Duran and, and to Mr. Rivera. Yeah, I, I listen. Okay, okay, very good. So, Thank you. I don't know if you have any question. Do you have any question? For me, no, teacher. No, no, Mr. Rivera, everything is okay. Good. Everything is clear. Uh, I finished the platform. Okay, excellent. Uh, Ms. Duran, what about you? Uh, uh, I finished my platform too. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. So, um, as you know, and as I said yesterday, um, tonight we're going to be just reviewing all the exercises that we has been working on during this model. Um, we are going to take, um, we're going to review the final test that we have on a platform. That, that's the last thing that we're going to do. And, and also, um, I will be asking you some questions about what do you remember, uh, some things that you can share about this model, and also um, if you, uh, well, in this case, uh, if you work all the ex all those exercises, um, do you learn something about that? What was a, something that you can see there? It was interesting for you so we're going to, i will be answering i mean asking you and you are going to be answering yeah, all those questions tonight okay um before to start uh, as i just want to share my screen in, in that way we're going to to follow the, the guideline of the final test just give me a second Okay, um, here we have, um, as you know, you are going to find, well, in this case, you're going to find a, a final exam in the model in English pre avanzado modulo uno. You are going to click on section number five, and there you're going to have the final exam that has um, five different exercises. Um, for exercise number one, in this case, we have a listening. In the listening, 
um, we have to complete uh, four, four sentences. Uh, and as you know, uh, all those sentences are related to the audio that we are going to be listening. To. Uh, before playing the, the audio, because I had to play it in order to complete this activity, uh, before uh, playing the audio, I want to ask you, do you remember uh, what topic this exercise refers about? Do you remember? What is the topic that's been uh, supposed that we're going to be working on in this exercise? You remember? Uh, letter uh, number one. Yes, no. Lo que este pregunto es sí, sí. Si eh, ustedes recuerdan a um, qué tema hace referencia este ejercicio, to listen. Dentro de pues, todos los contenidos que desarrollamos. No, Miss Durán. Yes, teacher. A ver, díganos. Uh, the answer, I remember that is borrow her CD player. Ok, esa es la respuesta de, de, de la pregunta número uno, pero la, la pregunta era si ustedes recuerdan a qué eh, tema de los que tenemos para este módulo hace referencia este ejercicio. Uh, I think, uh, could you please uh, borrow me your CD player, for example? No, está... no, no. no. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, that's that's the answer. But uh, what I want to know, Miss, is is if you can relate this exercise to the top one of the topic that we were discussing previously. It could be section one, section two, section three, section four, or five. Do you remember, Mister Mister Hago? Um, you want to say something, Miss Duran? No, Sorry. teacher, I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay, I, I don't remember the current name, but it's a um. Um, for question requests, algo así, no, no, no recuerdo. Questions request. Pero algo así se llamaba el tema. Okay. okay. A ver. A ver my... Section one. Section one. I'm going to open a, another. We know here on our window, and uh, we're going to see section number three. Okay, because th this is the, the the ones that about the favor. Favors, yes, that's the topic. Um, mm -hmm. let me see here. Okay, uh, if uh, you remember uh, last time when we're discussing about section number three, we're talking about favors. Um, and also we have a, a video here that um, it is used for requests with models. Um, here we have a list of different uh, expressions, different uh, structures that we can use from less formal to more formal in order to request something using models like can, could, is it okay if, do you mind if, will it be okay if, would you mind if, would you mind, uh, I wonder if, and I also wonder if you'd mind. So th this is the, this is the list that we have uh, for asking or for requesting someone using modals, the if clauses and yearns. So if we go back to the final exam, here uh, we are going to listen to a conversation and we're going to check the correct answers based on it. 
I'm going to play the audio and then after that, we are going to be checking all the answers of each of these uh, sentences, okay? So I'm going to play it right now. So please pay attention to it. Can you listen the audio? Yes. Okay. So I, I'm going to play it right now. Again. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hello? Hello, Karen. This is Manuel from downstairs. Oh, hi, Manuel. What's up? Well, I'm having a party tomorrow night, and I'd like you to come. Oh, I'd love to, but I already have theater tickets. Uh, would it be okay, then, if I borrowed your CD player for the party? Mine's broken. You'll be careful with it? It's new, you know. Sure. Don't worry. I'll take special care of it. Okay. I'll bring it down tomorrow morning. Great. Thanks, Karen. Bye. Two. Hello? Hello? Is this Mikio? This is Jeff. Uh, sorry, Mikio isn't here right now. Could you call back later tonight? Say, after seven? Well, uh, do you mind giving him a message? Not at all. It's Jeff. Jeff Jackson. We're going to play basketball tomorrow afternoon. Could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up? No problem. I'll tell him to call you tonight. Three. Hey, Brian, did you hear? This couple was walking to the mailbox on the corner when a thief stopped them. You're kidding. No, it was terrible. They didn't have any money, so the thief was going to make them go to a cash machine. But then a police car drove by. What happened? Did he get arrested? They said the robber got scared when he saw the police, and he ran down the street and around the corner. So he escaped? Unfortunately, he did. Four. Well, how was the beach today, Ivan? Great. There was just one little problem. Oh, what was that? Well, after I parked the car, we got our lunch out of the trunk and carried everything down to the beach. And about an hour later, I realized that I had forgotten to lock the car. Oh, no. Was anything stolen? Well, I had taken the keys with me, but I had locked my wallet in the glove compartment like I usually do whenever I go swimming. Wow. You've learned a good lesson, haven't you? Uh-huh. Remember to lock the car. So um, there we have um, the audio and we're going to be answering, uh, in this case, the each of these sentences, okay? Um, and, and as you know, this refers to, to the topic, uh, to, to request, or another word to say, asking for favors. And number one, it says that Manuel called Karen and wants to, Borrow her CD player. Borrow her CD player, okay? Number two, in this favor, just ask the man to leave his message uh, for me, Q. Um, what was the, the, the question? 
Could you ask Mikio what time I shall pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Okay, we're good. And number three. While the couple was walking in Mabel's, uh, which was a thief stopped them, a thief took their money, or they called the police. The first one, a thief stopped them. Him. Okay, very good. So, number uh, four, at the beach, Yvonne, what? Learn to be more careful about locking her car doors as her mom to lock the glove compartment or uh, she forgot her lunch and wallet in the trunk of the car. First, learn to First. be more careful about locking the car. Okay, so there we have the 100% of each of these uh, sentences here. Okay, this is, uh, this is activity A, listen. Uh, we're going to move to the second part, this request. Um, here, uh, it is asked to write requests using the information given. The number one, it says, you want uh, your friend to lend you her laptop for a weekend. What could be the, the um, in this case, the questions that we're going to be using? for this request. Borrow your laptop for the weekend. Okay. What about the second one? Number two, it says your classmate has a cell phone. You want to use it. What could be the answer? The, I mean the question. Would it be okay phone. if I use your cell phone? Okay, if I use your cell phone. Number three, this is the last one. It says, you want to borrow a stranger newspaper when he's finished reading it. I was, the, the questions here, or the request here is going to be, I was wondering, I was wondering if you mind lending me your newspaper. Your newspaper. Okay, very good. So uh, I'm going to show the answer here. And uh, I'm going to show you because we have different options in order to complete this activity. In the number one, we have three options. And it says, borrow your laptop for the weekend borrow your laptop for the weekend with a period at the end, or also we can use this part, it says borrow your laptop for the wedding with question mark. So th those are the possible answer there. Um, but the numbers, the, the number two, it says, or it could be like, I use your cell phone to make a quick call. And we can use parentheses there if, if we need it. Number two, I used your cell phone, and in the case of the uh, followings, it's the same, okay? So, number three. Number three, we have like different options there. It says, um, number one, lending me your newspaper uh, without using a capital letter, I mean the, the, the question mark, and the other one was, just let me check. Lending me the newspaper. Okay, in the in this case, it could be like lending me your newspaper or lending me the newspaper. We have two possible answers there. Using your in this in this case the, the pronoun that we use for objects and the uh, determiner here. That is the okay for news for newspaper. Let's move on to exercise Z. Okay, in exercise Z, it says check the correct phrase. Check the correct phrase. 
Um, the instructions, it says check the correct phrase to complete each request. Uh, for number one, it says, uh, could you tell Matt, could you tell Matt, what's the answer there? That a Kiko can't come to class tomorrow. Does a kick come to class tomorrow? That a kick can't come to class tomorrow. That, okay. So I'm going to ask you in this part, do you remember the topic that this exercise refers about? Do you remember the topic? Do you remember the topic? Request with models and theorems. Okay. More or less. <laughs> More or less. Do you, do you remember? So, um, let's models. Talk. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Models, if clause, yes, th those are requests. But in this case, the topic that this exercise refers about is when um, we. Uh, I remember that we're discussing in class uh, how to use some expressions in order to ask someone else uh, that can say something uh, to another uh, person. So when I ask you to reply the information uh, that I'm saying to someone else, do you remember that? When we use questions for asking another person, but you are not the ones has that, that I mean that uh, you ask uh, directly. In, in this case, you use someone else in order to ask that person. Do you remember that? What is it? What is the, the name of the unit? Or section in this case? El, el tema este, al que hacemos referencia, o, o hablando un poco, ¿verdad? Para, para retomar la, la idea, era cuando nosotros utilizamos expresiones en las que eh, yo le preguntaba a una persona a través de un intermediario, ¿sí? No era yo quien, lo, eh, quien se lo preguntaba directamente sino que le decía a Francisco para que se lo preguntara a Rodrigo. ¿Sí? ¿Recuerdan eso? Yes. Ok. En ese caso, eh, ¿recuerdan en qué sección se encuentra? Sí, no. Oh, ¿Recuerdan en qué sección se encuentra? No. Sí. No, teacher. Vaya. Esta parte o este ejercicio nosotros lo, eh, lo podemos encontrar, bueno, el tema lo podemos encontrar para este ejercicio en la sección número 3, donde este, teníamos el tema eh, Indirect Request using infinitives indirect request using infinity um, aquí teníamos nosotros este, una pequeña fórmula estructura podríamos decirlo de cómo utilizamos este tipo eh, de, de, de expresión ¿sí? de, de oración um, hablábamos en su momento que si por algo de motivo yo no puedo hablar directamente con X persona, yo puedo utilizar un intermediario. Para poder este, solicitar información a través de ese intermediario, siempre este, íbamos, o, o de cierta forma, siempre íbamos a estar utilizando eh, lo que son solicitudes indirectas, ¿sí? O preguntas indirectas, que en este caso las podíamos nosotros eh, construir a través del uso del modal can y en su pasado could. ¿Ok? Can and could. could you, um, can you ask to someone, ¿ok? 
y este, dicenlo o, o le este, informan qué es lo que debe preguntar esa persona, ¿sí? Cuando hablamos nosotros por medio de intermediarios. Les puedes preguntar este, a, a Francisco, ¿qué? ¿okay? ¿Cuándo será la fiesta? En inglés, ¿cómo traduciría yo esa oración? Le puedes preguntar a Francisco, ¿cuándo será la fiesta? ¿Cómo nos quedaría en inglés? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la oración en inglés? Could you tell Francisco? Could you, could you uh, ask to Francisco when uh, will be the party, maybe? Ok, when eh, the party will be. Okay. Or when will be the party. I think when uh, will be the party. I'm not sure. Let me check. Yes, we have to use the subject first. When the party will be, okay. In this case, the, the correct uh, option is, um, can you ask Francisco when the party will be? Bien, regresemos a lo anterior. En, esta, eh, en, esta, en este ejercicio, en ese check the correct phrase. Um, the number one, uh, well, we already answered this one. Could you tell Matt that a Kiko can come to class tomorrow? Um, the number two, this one. What is the, the answer, the correct answer for this? Can you ask David? Whether or not he wants to study together tonight. Whether or not. Do you remember the use of weather? Or do you remember the when we use weather? ¿Saben cuál es el significado de weather? ¿Cuándo se utiliza? Se Vaya. Eh, tenemos nosotros este, en inglés la traducción este, para eh, el uso del sí condicional, eh, que en este caso eh, nosotros utilizamos if, ¿ok? Cuando es un condicional. Ahora, cuando nosotros tenemos un condicional, con dos opciones, eh, Aquí nosotros debemos cambiar ese if por whether. Porque el whether nos permite a nosotros este, mostrar como dos opciones. Whether or not. Sí o no. Él quiere estudiar esta noche juntos. Yo le estoy preguntando este, a usted, Mr. Mr. Uh, Rivera. Puedo decirle. Uh, Mr. Rivera. Can you ask... Uh, to Mr. Hako, whether if whether uh, or not he wants to join to the video conference tonight. Y traducido al español sería como este Mr. Gerardo puede preguntarle a Mr. Hako si o no eh, quiere él unirse a la videoconferencia de esta noche. Ahí hay un condicional con dos opciones. Esas dos opciones son las que yo le estoy preguntando a Mr. Jaco por medio de usted. ¿Sí? A esto se le conoce como un... La, la, la oración, la estructura se le conoce como, como indirect request, lo que veíamos anteriormente. Y aquí este, estamos haciendo uso de ese condicional para múltiples opciones. Luego tenemos el número 3. Dice, Can you tell Harriet 
Don't be late for class on Monday. Not to be late for class on Monday. Which is the correct one? Which one? Number two, not to be late for class on Monday. Not to be late for class on Monday. Very good. So if we then we click on send, we're going to have the 100%. Let's move to the next one. Um, exercise did complete the story. Here we're going to find um, like two a paragraph. And it says, the instruction says, complete the paragraph, use the simple pass, pass continuous, or pass perfect. You only need to type the word in brackets. Let's answer this. Uh, number one, it says, uh, at their wedding, the bride and groom, what is the, the answer there? Got. 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 Into a terrible argument. The bride father had just moved aside when the room, which is the option there for step? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it like that. Stop it. Oh, it's stupid. It's stupid. Was come what your the, the the correct pronunciation t-shirt step. Step. step just with without pronouncing it the ed just a step step, step. okay step then. number two while i <laughs> was playing was playing was playing When I was playing tennis yesterday afternoon, I realized that I had forgotten something. I couldn't call my wife to say I will be late for dinner because I... I had not put. I had not put my cell phone in my tennis bag. She was pretty angry when I got. Let's check. There we have 100% in this exercise. And, and let's check the last one. This is a, a reading activity. The instruction sets, read the studies, then select the correct title for each one. I think you already uh, read the study. But uh, I want you to reach uh, one by one and then just choose the uh, one of the options that we had for each. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hako, you want to read the first one? Yes. Okay, sir. One day I statue of gone uh, disappeared from the garden of an uh, elderly couple in Florida. A month later in the mail, they received a photo of gum in front of Buckingham Palace in London. For five years, they received four photos um, of, the, of their statue in many famous pla places around the world. They finally got the gum back, but never found out who took or why. Hey, very good. What could be the title for that study? Number it's, one, it's what a, a coincidence. Mystery. Which one? It's a mystery because never- Is it a mystery? Because never, uh, they never know how uh, the, the statute uh, was to the, uh, to the, Booking, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a mystery for me. It's a mystery. What about the others? Do you agree with that option? 
Yes, I'm okay. Okay. Too. Uh, okay, very good. So let's listen now to who is here. Uh, Miss Nelsie, you want to read? Okay. Okay, teacher. Number two. Um, story number two. Joe, Joe was leaving the wife. In the 1990s, he was president of a software company. Owned a yet and was making a lot of money in this stock. Uh, in the stock market. Then his luck changed with the stock market. He lost everything, his business, his savings, and he, and the yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't remember the option there, the history number. But, but I'm going to show you these three options, okay? According uh, to the, what you have read, uh, it was what a coincidence, emergency, or what yeah. a terrible misfortune. A what a terrible misfortune. Okay. Very good. Any volunteer who wants to read the last one, the number three? Me, teacher. Okay, miss, go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Once, one. One sunny day, many and his family decide to go to the beach around no, around, around no. It started getting cloudy. Then it started thundering and raining hard. Many got his family safe safely back to the car, but the engineer wouldn't start. He used his cell phone to call 911 to 19. 11, but he told truck couldn't help them because the roads were flooded. Okay. You, you yeah. can pronounce it just like a 911, or you can okay. also use 9111. Okay. Well, wait, it's okay, but just choose one of them. Um, the number three, it says the options. What a coincidence, emergency, eh, or a silly emergency. predicament. Emergency. Emergency? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So let's check this. Um, and there we have 100%. So this is, um, this is the end of the module. Eh, what I want right now, I will start sharing this, this screen. Uh, what I want to uh, do right now is um, to give a feedback about this model. Um, as I said at the beginning, you can share something that you like, something that was interesting for you, or uh, well, any comments that you want to add uh, to, this, to this course. I don't know who wants to start first. What are your comments for this model? For me, teacher, all, all the tense, this course is very important. Okay. What else? Sir? Do, do you find something interesting here in, in topics that were discussing during these previous days? Do you find something that catch your attention? There was something. Yeah, but but um, we we have the we have a compromise. <laughs> compromise. Compromise uh, about learning more vocabulary for. Uh, Mm. Uh, <laughs> for a speak more flu fluency. <laughs> fluently fluently okay yes. yes one of the things here in, in english is that um we need to practice our, our language or, or in this case or the, the language that we're learning um 
and, and as you say, sir, uh, something that is so important in order to communicate in, in a good manner is uh, to learn vocabulary. Um, I suggest you, uh, for instance, if you want, if you had a uh, time in order to practice, you can choose um, some of the pages, pages sorry, um, that I, I, I was sharing previously. For instance, you have the word search. The word search, well, uh, in that game, in that, in that uh, activity, you are going to be practicing how you write those words and also uh, depend on the topic that you choose, you are going to be learning more vocabulary, okay? There are also, um, if you are uh, interested in, in one specific word that maybe you don't manage, what you can do is just go to uh, Google and write the word and try to look for a meaning. And also, if you want, you can listen to, because you, you have the option there in Google in order to listen the pronunciation of that word. Okay, and if you want to go, uh, or if you want to discover more about it, you can also ask for some sentences. You can do it on Google too. So in, in that way, you're going to be practicing. The, the idea is uh, try to look for words that uh, we use or that we think that we use uh, in, in our daily life. Uh, that or that we consider that are going to be helpful for us. For instance, you, in your company, this is just an example. In your company, you have like a lot of things that maybe you don't know how, you don't know how to call it. Try to look. Uh, one thing that I, I, I was like uh, doing when I was learning English is that all the time I was uh, writing words about the things that I that I was uh, checking around me, okay? So if I said something, I just take note of, the, of it. Later on, I was just typing it in, in, on Google and look for the word. So th this is just a way, one of the ways that we can uh, choose in order to learn more vocabulary. The other ones are just taking a, a courses uh, online, taking uh, what? some um, activities that are free on the internet. So that's gonna be helpful for, for everyone that wants to, to increase uh, the vocabulary. Okay, sir? Yes. Okay, what else, sir? Ms. Duran, what about you? Uh, I think that all topics are very important for improve our English uh, or vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Do you find something interesting? Interesting. I mean, uh, in this model, something that catched your attention, and, and you said, "Oh, this is so important, and and I want to learn more about it." Do you find something like that? No, teacher. No, no, okay. Okay, okay. Um, well, so in this case, Miss, um, what, what, one of the things I, I suggest for learning uh, more about English is, is like to pay attention, uh, to something that, that, that maybe you can consider that it, it is interesting. For instance, if, if you take a look or, or if you take a review um, of the uh, grammar rules or the vocabulary that we're uh, discussing during this course, or if you take a look to the videos, so I don't know, something that you maybe can, can be interested on, um, that's gonna be helpful in order to be improving your uh, pronunciation, in order to be improving your listening skills. Okay, so just uh, I, I, what I suggest is to focus on to focus on something uh, that can help you to increase 
uh, your uh, skills in, in, in English language, okay? So, Mr. Rivera says that <laughs> one of the things that he likes were the links, the game links. <laughs> okay, so, so there you have the, there you have the links. Um, I don't know if you, the, well, I remember that the, the someone shared the links in WhatsApp. Uh, there you have more activities that you can uh, you can use for learning English. So go ahead, just uh, click on the link and try to look for something that you consider could be interesting. Okay, so there you have it, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. What about you? What, is, what are your comments for this model? Okay, uh, of this model, I liked, oh, I loved the, the lesson of the request. I have uh, another, how another uh, forms to request uh, something. Uh, certainly this, this sentence or these models of, the requests are softly, or I don't know how how do you say, más tranquilo, the requests. Oh, yeah. Uh, in order to ask in in a, in a could be or oh, oh, we can say like uh, as you said, uh, you use a word like like softy in order to softy. ask some. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that that could be one of the words that we can use for it, like like, like uh, asking someone in a in a polite way. A polite, could, yes. Yes, it, like, like for instance, it, the, those those expressions. Uh, if you notice there, uh, sometimes we ask uh, something that maybe someone else can understand, misunderstand. misunderstand uh, what we want to or what uh, we want him or her to uh, for us um, like maybe you ask to your partner uh, to to make you a favor yes. so depend on the way you are going to ask that will be the answer because sometimes we use expressions that are like so uh, what he in order to ask something uh, and, and as you notice there are some other expressions that we can use yes okay yes. and miss uh, santos what about you what are your comments for for this for this model um, good evening for me this model is what it was very interesting because i know uh you a structure, but sometimes it's, it's difficult. <laughs> it, it was difficult because it, uh, it's new for me, but I try to to improve my English, to memorize the new structure. Um, I think my recommendation is, um, is practice more um, speaking because I think that is, is necessary because okay. some, uh, yes because sometimes we we pronounce um, uh, no we no no pronounce the, the we don't know how to pronounce words sometimes yes 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 is yes. okay. and, and, and it's my recommendation to improve the speaking Okay, very good. So uh, yes, uh, we are going to to take that into account in the, the few, uh, future models that maybe I will see you later. I know maybe. Um, and and one of the things that, uh, as you say, that it's so important in English is to to manage speaking, and also it's one of the hard things that uh, we find when we are learning English. Okay, because learning vocabulary is easy. Learning how to write uh, words in English is easy. Um, learning how to uh, construct sentences is easy. But one of the difficult things here is how to pronounce those words. 
Okay, but how we can uh, overcome all, all these things? So we have audios for it, we have videos that we can be like listening. Uh, we can uh, also be checking a uh, pronunciation in some uh, pages uh, in, on, on the internet. So there, there are some other resources that we can use for, for that purpose. Um, well, but in this case, I, I would take that into account for future uh, models. Okay, thank you. So as you know, this has been the end of this model. And thank, uh, thanks to you, to Mr. Hako, to Mr. Rivera, to Ms. Duran, and to Mr. Boris, to Ms. Antons, uh, that, uh, well, all of you that have been here in this model all uh, night at, at eight o'clock, you, you, you always were on time. Uh, and that was w one of the things that, that uh, well, that I say, so they are so interested in learning English because they are like, almost all the time like asking for something, like uh, participating because you are uh, so participative. So, and, and I like it. And if you go to another model being that way, okay, try to ask the teacher, try to uh, check the, or, or, or study the, the, the contents before going to the video conference and try to ask what you don't understand because in that way you are going to be learning more. Uh, so I have to say thank you uh, to you and I hope to see you later, okay? Uh, maybe in the future, I don't know, maybe I will see you in another level, I don't know. Uh, and if not, guys, uh, just what I, I can say is like, try to, to, to go over and try to, com to, to um, try to complete all those uh, objectives that you had set for the, for learning English, okay, with English Corporativo. So, blessings for everybody, and bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for all. Thank you, everybody. Blessing Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay. See you. Have a nice night. Let's see another model. <laughs> I hope so. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.